At last, here we are, back at Bea Melee. Uh, Bea, Bea Melee. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so I'm gonna use my miracle key to get in here. Uh, I wanted to mention that uh, as as a final preparation for going back in here, I made a big old map of this place. Uh, I mean, I already had a map of like seven floors here, um, but uh, I redrew it in a way that made it like at least ten times easier to read. Uh, and also, I um, traced over the. You know, I can probably just run from this guy. Not waste my time. Um, I definitely don't want to fight sorcerers. Uh, I traced over the path that'll lead me through this place, and it is ridiculous, because I'm going to go up here to, like, the second floor, right? And then from here... Uh, let's see. From the second floor... Oh, this one's easy. I basically just follow this to the end and take it to the last right. Easy! Uh, not the entire place will be that easy, because there's a lot of winding paths here. It's definitely really hard to read, though, because now I'm up on the second floor. Uh, and from the second floor, I need to do a couple turns and stuff. Let's see, next up... Uh, we take that next right right there. This is a red slime that'll die in three seconds. There we go. We definitely do not want to open that. Uh, let me go this way. Don't want to fight him. Uh, we're trying to conserve health as much as possible, because I don't know how big this place is. And there's actually one place left here. I still want to check out. Uh? Alright, is this... Hold on, where am I? <laughs> I thought... I thought I was doing this right. And now I'm not entirely sure. Uh? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. I think I know where I am. Let me see which way I'm facing. I got I got distracted. Currently facing west. Uh so if I'm facing west, looking at uh, I'm standing in a T junction. Yeah, okay. So this is pretty much where I thought I'd be. Uh, and then this should take me. Just need to take two more right turns. Uh, so I'm up on the second floor, and I have to go down. I actually have to go down all the way to the bottom floor. So I have to go down six floors from up there. That's how I get to the top floor. By going up two floors and then down like six floors. It's ridiculous. Okay, so... Let's see, if we're at point G... Let me go up this way. Over this way. Alright, from there there's no more breaks in this path, so I can just look at the screen. Um, so yeah, that, that little drawing, that line there really helped, because I was looking at that map. I was trying to explain to someone, between episodes, how complicated this place was, and how ridiculous getting through here had been. And I couldn't even figure out, like, how I got up to where I was. So I'm really glad I sat down and drew up uh, an extended version of the map here. There is actually one place on here that I haven't explored yet, down on the um, first basement level. Uh, speaking of which, it's coming up. Let's see if I took H, then I'm here. This one's pretty simple. Uh, from this next one, I want to turn left. And then right. Alright. So it's coming up here. Just have to keep dodging all these sorcerers and stuff. I haven't gotten any fights so far, except for that red slime which I killed. Uh, which is nice. Um, okay, so... Uh, from I... Okay, yeah, it's this turn right here. I saw this staircase. Uh, I apparently labeled... No, I didn't label it yet. Let's see, I think the last one I did was P, and then I found I mislabeled one, so I called that one Q. Uh, so what comes after Q? R. This is Staircase R. Uh? Alright, let's see where R takes me. Hopefully not to a land filled with pirates. 
Uh, let's see. So one, two, three. And now this is completely off the path. I do not need to be here. Uh, why I'm here is pure and simple curiosity and probably a waste of my time and valuable resources. And I may regret being here. But, you know, filling in the map's kind of important to me. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, that wasn't so bad. Let's check in for traps, though. No reason to take chances at this point. Oh, a magic lamp! I don't even need a magic lamp. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just abandon the, the magic lamp. Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. There's still actually room down here for more stuff. I actually expected this to be slightly longer passage. There's like a quarter of like all these basement levels that's straight north of here. Uh, but that's the only way that you could have gotten there unless there's a secret door around here somewhere. Um, so, you know, I guess, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. We're just gonna go back up the staircase. After we get past Horseman. I can probably kill this guy in like one round, right? Maybe? Aww. I was hoping. That's fine. Didn't take much longer. Uh, no. Alright. So... Uh, back on, back on the trail. So that wasn't a long detour. <laughs> you know, I was starting to wonder, though, like, if, if I should climb this place between episodes, just to get us back up to where we'd already been. Uh, and I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, why am I fighting these stalkers? I should've just run. There's three of them. This is, this is a waste of time and health. Um, I really did stock up on burgers, though. I don't know if I mentioned that. I, I filled my pockets with burgers. I sold everything I was never going to need. And then filled my pockets with burgers. So, our pockets are just... Overflowing with burgers right now. <laughs> uh... Okay, so... Doo -doo -doo, where am I right now? Okay. Uh, Jay's gonna take me to here. There's no paths. No, no twists here. No turns. Straight to the next staircase. Uh, from here... Let's see, we want to take this left up ahead here. And then go down this way. Then we're going to take the next turn we see. Go through a door. I just don't want to, don't want to deal with this guy. I don't want to deal with Andrew Cops. I don't want to deal with magicians either! Yes, keep missing and, and let me run away. Oh, come on! Oh my god. This is the worst. This sucks. It's so stupid. I was doing so good until right there. I'd taken almost no damage. And then you fight one of those guys, and they're like, Hey, how's the 120-something damage sound? So stupid. Okay, well, uh... Straight path to the end from here. Oh, except for that little thing there. Um. Okay. Uh, so th that was ladder Q, the one I mislabeled before. I go down here. <laughs> I'm almost surprised, like, I made as much progress here as I did before leaving. This place is insane. Oh man. Let's get out of my way! Oh my god! Why doesn't running ever freaking? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is so dumb. Oh my god. I got through. Oh, seriously? Just. Oh! Mm -hmm. This is so stupid. How much damage did I just take from two stupid encounters? They were completely worthless. 
just because the game wouldn't let me run, and that they also thought, eh, we can just give these enemies ridiculously overpowered spells that hit everyone in the party. That's cool. I don't really want to use my magic yet. Oops. So let's just eat some burgers. Alice gets a burger. Uh, Meow gets a burger. And Odin gets a burger. And Noah gets a burger. And now everyone's a little bit over half hit points. Yay! Okay, so... Uh, yeah. It's two more corners. Yeah, I don't care. Get out of my way. Thanks, I needed that. Alright, fine. Of course. Of course it's not letting me run. Of course it's just gonna block me here. It's fine. I don't care anymore. It's not a big deal. Whatever. Who really wants to beat the game anyways? Who needs mana and healing items and stuff? Alright, so from there... Uh, I just need to turn... Left? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, why don't you hit me with a spell too? I could use some more damage. Freaking... Oh my god! Let's get out of the way. Uh, okay, so... From M, we just take this left. Almost there. We just passed the, the entrance floor again, so now we're on the second floor. Uh... And... Uh, oh, okay, we're over there. Uh, left, or right, and then a left. I see, why does running sometimes work, and then sometimes it's total bullcrap for far too long? Okay, so... Uh, so we just took O. Oh, we take a couple of rights here. I don't want to deal with you. Almost there. This next staircase, the next staircase we reach will be the uh, will be the one that takes us up to the highest floor I've been to. And then I just need to go into the, one of the three staircases that's there. Uh. Okay, yeah, no branches here, just a really long passage. Alright, bring on the really long passage. I'm really looking forward to fighting some marauders and reapers and sorcerers who won't let me run away. And then hit me with lightning. Because that's what I want. That's what I want right now. Well, it seems to be working out surprisingly well. Alright. We're on to page two of the map. <laughs> uh, so the question is, which staircase to take? I guess I'm going to start with the first one, just because it's closest. And we'll see where that takes me. Let's see, the last staircase I did was R. So this one's going to be, oops, not that way. It's next turn. Uh, the next one's going to be staircase S. We take S, and let me just transpose this up to the next floor. Uh, one, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, we come out there, we're faced with the immediate turn. Not surprising. Yep, okay. I'm pretty sure I've done this right so far. Uh, let's see, we go up one, over one. I don't know how much longer this game's gonna be. I'm actually really excited to finish this one. Uh, so let's see, one. One, and then a pitfall. Okay. So that drops me here. I can get back up to that staircase super easy. Just have to dodge these god dang magicians and stuff who are trying to kill me with their bogus magic attacks. Alright, so we come up here, here's the trap, uh, not item, magic, 
Meow. Trap. Alright. Now we step over that one. Two, three. And there's a door. What's behind it? Uh. Another turn. Just go us down this way. One, two spaces. For turning to the right. Uh, one, two. And then we get a door. What's behind it? More passageways. I honestly don't know which one of these the the, the staircases, because um like I said, that that floor, the first one that's on the second page, the first floor on the second page. Uh I have no idea. There's there's three staircases that go up from there. So one of these three has gotta lead towards the end. Uh but I have no idea where any of these are gonna take me. Uh Let's see, this one's not gonna have much more room to like put more stuff in. I guess I could still turn north. I could do that. We'll see if it does. It's got lots of doorways here though. Uh, okay. So we got this corner here. Um. I mean, at the very least, I'm making progress, right? If, like, worse comes to worse, I can still bail out of here using, like, the flute and fly back to town and then heal up and then climb back up the tower again. And maybe not get lightning bolted that time. That would be nice. And, uh, a little easier on my throat, because that, that groan I did was really <clears throat> it's made me wish I had a bottle of water right now I may go grab one between episodes uh, let's see one two three uh, another door sure a lot of doors here one two uh, let me get another door all right now it's pretty much out of space one, two, three, and a staircase up. Just what I needed. Hold on. Oh! I was about to say, mathematically, as far as the map goes, this doesn't make any sense. Ah. Uh, huh. I'm just gonna write outside. So this is new, can I turn around here? You know, this is probably... I'm guessing where I'm supposed to use... Uh, the prism. Vision of a celestial castle appear in the sky. With bad grammar. Oh! There's some fancy music playing. Oh man. Search, there doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Um, so this is what I saw in line, is that now's the time to feed Meow the nuts, but I also read online that I need the crystal. Uh, because I don't remember if I can beat Lassic without the crystal that'll protect me from his dark magic or something. That's some cool music, though. Alright, cool. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna turn back around for now and run back down this ridiculously long hallway of doors. How much you want to bet that pitfall respawns since I technically went to another floor? Uh, it'll be a little while before I get back there though. Do to do. So I think we have one more of those. Uh, okay. So anyone who's who's ready for that, or you know, afraid of jump scares from when people fall into pitfalls, uh, it should be, let's see, this next space right here. Oh, still disabled, cool. Unless I miscounted. Not nah, good. Okay. Uh, so that's that one. Uh. Interesting. Okay. Then the other two stairways here must be pretty short. Uh, if that's the last floor... 
that that little passage there that snaked around to go outside took up like half the floor. So I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's go check the other two really quick like. Uh let's see. Cause I, I do feel like you know, if if the crystal's a key item, right? And they put it in the game and they told me that like Lassic fears its power. And like that was one of the two things I checked, because I just didn't wanted to make sure that like I didn't <clears throat> miss some location. Uh because I knew about Soothsayer to Mourn the Crystal, and I wanted to find those. But I also wanted to finish the game. Uh, let's see, so it should be... From here I should just be able to go straight down here into the left. Uh, I gotta use the dungeon key. And, uh, it said that Soothsayer de Moore was in the dungeon here somewhere. Alright, so this is Staircase T. It's gonna be right there. And I'm facing that way. Okay. So let's finish filling this crap in. Uh. And then I can go up to the Lassix Flying Castle, I guess. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm guessing that's gotta be that's gotta be the last dungeon, like. But I don't know how big it's gonna be, because this place has already been huge. How much more could they throw at me here? Especially if they keep having, like, lightning bolt dudes. The last dungeon also has, like, one, two, uh, you know, like, freaking eight floors or something of lightning throwing, cheap shotting, magic using dudes. Like, <laughs> I may not survive that much exploration. Uh, let's see. And climbing back up there's gonna be a pain. One, two, three. One, two, three. And a dead end. Uh, oh, it's a pitfall. That's not great. It's not what I wanted, at least. Uh, well, since I'm here... This is actually closer to the last staircase than it is the uh, first staircase. So let's see. Um. It's <laughs> drawn onto my map where the pitfalls drop me. I don't want to fight magicians! Oh my god! Of course it uses lightning! Of course it does! Get out of my way! You know, why don't you just use your lightning again? Why don't you just do that? That'd be fun, right? Why don't you shoot me with more lightning? Freaking swing your stupid staff. Oh my god. Why can't we run?! I'm almost certainly gonna have to run from here now. Like, after finish exploring this place, I gotta go... Go back to town, heal, and eat burgers, because I got hit by, like, four lightning bolts. That's how many lightning bolts it takes to ruin a run. Four. You know how many enemies have them? A lot. You know how often you, the freaking run function works? Almost never. It's the worst. This is the worst. Yeah, yeah, give me some fire. That's what I need now, more damage. Let's get out of my way. Oh my god, how hard is it to it should not be this hard to run. Like, mechanically speaking, the, the odds of running should be at least, like, 50-50. This is absurd. Alright, now I just blow your MP, because we gotta leave now. Because freaking game sucks. Sucks at run mechanics, I guess. Ugh. I'd be curious to know what the game's actual run mechanics are. Just like in a statistical sense. Is there some sort of variable I'm not aware of? It's just like some enemies, if they don't let you run the first time, it's like your chance drops is by like, you know, 80% and then you have like a 10% chance of running away successfully. And then it's like, why even bother? I don't freaking know. But it sucks. It sucks so bad. 
Oh, man. All right, this is Staircase U. It may be the last staircase of the dungeon. Uh, okay, so we go down from there. Staircase U. All right. You know what else that reminded me of? Just talking about how much it sucks. Is the, uh, if anybody hasn't seen it, I'd recommend going and watching the, uh, homestarrunner.com. Or you can probably find it on YouTube. Find, uh, Strong Bad's, uh, uh, it's like how to draw a dragon. Uh, he creates a dragon called Trogdor. But there's a line in that where he says, The S is for socks. Uh, and it's great. Uh, let's see. Let's trap check it. Oh, hey, a burger. Now I won't have to buy one more. That's cool, I guess. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this takes me right back up to uh, the other passage, which is sort of what I was suspecting may happen, and I'm kind of glad it did, because now I don't have to be here anymore. Uh, so now the question is, should I just flute out and leave? Um, you know what, just for fun, I'm going to try, try giving uh, Meow the Nuts. I want to do that before I go. Alright, so if I'm here, I need to go this way. Take this turn here. Take this turn here. Uh, go up around this way. Skip the first left, and take the second. All right. Should we get past that jerk? Just gotta get through the really, really long winding hallway again. Uh, and just in case the trap is back, because I don't want to waste time. There was a trap. Cool. Didn't waste time on it. Alright, so this is gonna be a long jog. Once we get to the end of this hallway though, I'm gonna I'm gonna try giving giving uh Meow the nuts. Cause apparently cat only gets hungry when he sees a flying castle in the sky. Revealed by a, a magic prism. Hold on a sec, wasn't wasn't Soothsayer de Moore supposed to be here? Is there like a secret passage or something? Alright, because I've I've been everywhere. There's there's no other passages. There's no other staircases. I've been everywhere. Uh can we just can we nuts? Aw oh, man. All right, then let's try the prism so we can listen to that rad music again. There it is. All right, uh, then let's get da da da. All right, I want to save. Oops. Save, not search. Okay, so we're gonna save over my dungeon save file. Just in case this, like, is like a point of no return. Ah, uh, oh, Meow ate it! When Meow eats the nuts of, nuts of Lerma, he becomes clothed in flame and emits a blinding light! Oh, wow, look at him! When he is visible again, he has been transformed into a beautiful winged beast. Meow flaps his wings proudly. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a, uh... I mean, I'm sort of wondering if GD is supposed to mean golden dragon? Like a gold dragon? Or if it's like a god dragon? Uh, either way, it doesn't matter because I'm planning to run away from this place. So let's just blow some mana and stuff. 
and uh, see what happens. Oh, wow, that was quite a bit of damage I just did there. Uh, hey, Meow, why don't you freaking heal yourself? What does the help spell do? <laughs> uh? Just keep doing your things. Oh, wow, it healed? That was a lot of hit points it just got back. Uh? Alright, well. There's nothing else to do but keep whacking it. Got not, it's not got that much left in it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I can chat with it. You know, I've been able to chat with most dragons. Ah, uh, you know what the hey, since I'm here. Let's see. Magic. Telepathy. Oh, they can't understand each other. That's unfortunate. It's always a bummer when we can't come to some sort of understanding. Yeah, eat fire. Oh man, it healed again. How much can it do that? Oh my god! <laughs> it's fine. Our basic attacks apparently are enough that it basically can't do anything but heal. Yeah, there we go. Good dragon is killed. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, we've reached a place. Oh, interesting. Uh, what's here? An old guy who doesn't want to talk. Uh... Don't believe your own eyes in the depth of the dun- Yeah, we already know that. Uh... More dots. I'm just wondering if there's like a healing station here, or if maybe this is where the Soothsayer de Moore is. Because I don't really want to look up, like, online. But at the same time, I don't want to have to search the entirety of that tower, like, a second time. See if I can find some place where de Moore is hidden. Don't go against Lassic! Oh, there's a serpent. There's a serpent in this one. I don't know why there's a serpent living in that house. That's pretty exciting. Is it still here? Yep. I can just fight infinite serpents. I don't know why I'd want to, but I can. Uh. Alright, out of curiosity. Nope. Okay, so this must be the final dungeon. Uh. Okay, so. So now the question is. Uh, can I just. Can I just flute my way out of here? This isn't still part of the same dungeon. Uh, nope, didn't do anything here. Okay, let's try going back into the dungeon. Assuming I can, I can leave the Sky City here. Um. <laughs> oh, I thought Meow was gonna stay a big flying bird thing, bird cat. But he looks tiny. Now. Oh. I don't know if I can leave here. Uh, okay, well, that's what I saved for. So I guess I'm gonna come back next time on Operation Pixel. Um, I'll probably be around here again. Maybe not here exactly. I might be back in the tower looking for Soothsayer de Moore. Uh, I just don't want to miss that crystal, because it's gonna bother me forever, and it may or may not be super important. Um, but we're getting really close to the end. Uh, so I'm gonna get that crystal, or at least find out where it is, and then maybe go back and heal because I took way too much damage. Like, we're already basically out of stuff. Because of how many resources I had to spend because of those stupid lightning bolts. Oh my god.